Welcome to another episode on Wireshark Topics and today we're going to be talking about PCAPNG and in this part we are going to give a quick introduction to what PCAPNG is and describe what the SHB block does. There are many blocks as a part of PCAPNG and SHB is the very first and the most important one. So that's where we start. So what is PCAPNG? PCAPs, as everybody knows, um, are a format for capture and are used extensively in Wireshark. Um, and this format came from the TCP dump tool in the 1980s, where the libpcap format was developed by Network Research Group at Lawrence Berkeley Labs. And you can go read the format um, of PCAP uh, in the link um, described here. PCAPNG is the next generation uh, format and in that there's a lot more flexibilities. Here's a link provided where you can go on the GitHub and look at the um, draft um, which is um, available there. Um, the PCAPNG is a format that provides, like I said, mul multiple levels of flexibility. One of the things it does is it allows us to capture multiple interfaces and, and can even mix multiple interfaces within the same file, something that PCAPs don't do. PCAP captures from a single interface and the, so the whole capture is from one interface. PCAPNG also allows higher resolution timestamps. Uh, the typical uh, timestamp in PCAPs were microseconds and you can do nanosecond resolution timestamps with PCAPNG. Additionally, metadata is stored in the capture. This metadata is of various types. Um, and now you have um, optional blocks, etc., to store the data within the blocks. The format is extensible and um, it can even have custom blocks. But some of the very interesting blocks that are added are like name resolution block, interface stats block. Now, name resolution block can carry DNS kind of data. And you can have um, the uh, IP address to uh, the the name mapping and interface stats block and carry some other uh, interface level statistics as well. Um, comments can be added on a per capture basis or a packet basis. So uh, going a little bit in more detail, the different types of headers are SHB, which is a section header block and gives us the characteristics of the capture itself. The IDB, which is the interface description block, gives us the characteristics of interfaces used within the capture. EPB, which is the most common block that we are used to, is the packet block in which the packet data and the metadata of the packet is stored, like timestamps, etc. Name resolution block is conversion of numerical addresses to canonical name, DNS data. ISB is interface statistics block, stores the stats for the interface. For example, if you have packet loss happening in the interface, uh, that can be captured here. And then you can have custom blocks, which can define stuff that is not even defined yet, and you can have your own um, custom functionality uh, that may even not be packet-based. It's completely customizable structure, and it can carry any kind of block data that you might have. So it's very good format to define block data. So just comparing quickly the structures of PCAP and PCAP NG, um, the PCAP format has a global header followed by packet header, packet data, and just repeats itself, right? You have many packets and as many packets you have that structure. Repeating after that, and in PCAP NG, the evolution is that you have these smaller blocks which define metadata, for example, section header block, and it defines for the whole file what, this, what the section header properties are, um, which are common across the whole file. But then you have multiple interfaces, so you have a interface description block, and, uh, and you can have either one for the whole file, which would be like a, you know, the older style PCAP, or you can have multiple interface description blocks. And for a given interface, you can have enhanced packet blocks, CPBs, or simple packet blocks, interface statistics. And then um, for this, for the whole file, you can have uh, name resolution um, blocks as well. 
and you can have multiple name resolution blocks uh, within the PCAP, PCAP NG. So um, you can see that there's a lot more flexibility in PCAP NG. There's lots of different blocks that you can use to carry more metadata and more flexible format so that you can mix different kinds of captures and carry more data, more interesting data in the capture itself. Let's look at in more detail what these headers translate into. And if you were to open up a file in a hex editor, how does it look under uh, the hex editor? So I have opened this in my favorite editor, which is VI, and done the hexadecimal conversion. And once you do that, you can see that the very first thing in a PCAP is magic number, which is supposed to be A1, B2, C3, D4. In this case, it's um, little endian, so it's um, A1 is right down, starts with D4, C3, B2, and A1. And so you can see that these are byte swapped. The next one is the major version, minor version, which is right here, and it looks like this is 4.2. Um, and so that is, um, sorry, 2.4. Uh, for this file, the the major minor versions are 2.4. Um, and then the zone data, and then followed by sig figs, which is right there, snap length. Snap length is 65535, and the network is 1. So 1 is Ethernet. So that is the global header. Now, going down to the packet header, which should be followed by the actual packet data, you can see that the timestamps, which is the second spot right there, and the microseconds part right there. And it's it's a little endian, so you'll, you'll read it like 58934F5A, right? And if you look that up, you can find the epoch, and you can even trace when this packet was sent. Um, and then microseconds you can uh, look up as well. Then there is the included length in this Wireshark capture. Um, and you can see that that is 52, and also the actual length of the packet, which was um, what was there um, in the packet itself, not just what was snapped or what was captured, but what was there is also 52. So that's the the capture. Now the the um, the format is a lot more simpler, and you'll just see once you have seen this much that we packet data following. Like from here, packet data will start, and you know, um, whatever the length is, this is 82 bytes. So if you measure 82 bytes, that's where the pa the packet data would end, and then the next packet header would start, and so on and so on. So that's the PCAP format. Now, if you look at the PCAP NG format, PCAP NG format, if you look at the structure here, has a block data type, and 0A, 0D, 0D, 0A, which you see in the beginning. Then there's a block length of 0, 070, uh, and then major version, minor version. Um, so uh, I'm sorry, the magic number is, so the magic number is important because in this case, magic number is 1A, 2B, 3C, and 4D. So I just wanted to quickly show, I looked up the code um, for the PCAP NG because I was expecting this to be A1, B2, C3, D4 but it seems like it's reverse. And so I looked it up and sure enough, there are two expected numbers, 1A, 2B, 3, 3C, 4D, and 4D, 3C, 2B, 1A. And in our case, it happens to be like this, which means that it is byte swapped. So um, coming back to this, this is our format. And from this, we can tell that it's little Indian and then from that point onwards, you have major version, minor version, which is right there. And the major version is one, and the minor version is zero. And then section length is all Fs, which means that this length is useless. We have to do the decryption ourselves, or sorry, the decode of the uh, various fields within the SHB ourselves. Um, and then the options. So when you look at these options, these options get very interesting because the options are, you can see some of the options are here and you can obviously look up the PCAP NG code in Wireshark and you can see what options it supports. Um, but in this case, you can see that this is option three. Option three is the OS in this case. 
OS is described here is Linux 3.8.0-19 generic. And so it's carrying that data uh, and you can read, it tells you the length is, you know, 16 and 16 hex. And so you can measure up, but the, the key thing is that when you measure this length, the length is um, multiple of four bytes. So you have to round up to the next four bytes. And then the next field starts right there is 04. And you can see 04 is the user application and that is dump cap uh, and SVN revision unknown, et cetera, et cetera. So that is plugged in right there. And then when that ends right after that, you have the 0000, which means that this is an optional field end. Once you see that, that means there are no more options. So this section has ended, the variable option length section has ended. And then the block length, which is a repetition of what was there in the beginning, 7070 70 is right there. And that is the end of this SHB block. And that is pretty much all there is to decode the SHB. So that's it for this um, episode, guys. Hopefully, you know, this made sense. And um, you are um, welcome to go ahead and at this point, go read the, the document. It kind of gave you a flavor for the comparison between the traditional PCAP format and the PCAP NG format. And now you can start to dig more into the other types of blocks that are available. How does this help you? It helps you in case you are more curious about how uh, these blocks are, uh, you know, working underneath, under the hood. Really, you may never need to look at this level, but just the understanding that this is how the blocks are constructed may uh, give you um, some sort of a deeper understanding of where things are available. And then you might question as to how Wireshark maps them and how other tools might also map them. And alternatively, if you want to write your own decoder, um, you can do that. If you are writing a, a new parser uh, for your own application, you can decode uh, PCAP NG or PCAP using the uh, specifications that have been provided. Um, and a quick note on also how I did the hexadecimal decode here. Um, what I did was I used my uh, editor, which is VI, and VI supports this hexadecimal format mode of conversion. And you can Google that, but just by doing um, colon percent um, bang XXD, um, I can convert my file into the hexadecimal format. And that is how I did this uh, presentation. So that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in another episode where I'll talk about the next blocks uh, in this um, PCAPNG format. So until next time, um, thanks for watching and see you soon. Take care and bye-bye.